Let's get into this. So, all right. Here's the thing. I know you want to start. Here's the thing. Yeah, you definitely. I know where you want to start. You know, we are seven. <laughs> we're seven hours ahead of time in out here in Egypt. So, you know, it's it's kind of messes up your day. So I'm not really keeping up with the stock market the way I would keep up with if I was back in the States. But I heard, shout out to my brother Panama. I heard that uh, hey, what up? AMD was going crazy. So I looked at AMD and I saw AMD was up $15. So uh-huh. I'm like, why is it up $15? And then we found out that AMD is up $15. One of the reasons is that. So it all ties in. All this stuff ties in. That's crazy. So I told so you we've guys to what. We've been talking, <laughs> talking about AMD for a long time. Not just AMD, but... All of the semiconductor, mm-hmm. SMH, uh, NVIDIA, TSM, TSM yep. all of that. And we we explained that, you know, it's a shortage of computer chips in the world. And it's probably going to be a shortage of computer chips in the world probably until like 2026. And everything runs on computer chips. And these are good companies to buy. And AMD and they, they gaming history. We gave it a whole rundown. And don't don't forget ASML. We can't, when, we, when we say that, we sometimes get... If you've seen what ASML has done since we spoke about it three weeks ago... On Market Mondays, four weeks ago, how does it work? Yeah, congrats. So, so then, then we talk about the metaverse. Um, we talking about that a lot the last couple of weeks, and you know, the metaverse, AR, VR, how that's going to change the world, how people are going to end up living in the metaverse, and we talking about going metaverse crazy. Then Facebook, we're talking about Facebook a lot, how they change the name mm-hmm. to metaverse, how you know all of the issues that Facebook has had, how they're trying to rebrand themselves and. You know, yeah. how they're trying to forge a new way Meta going platforms. forward, yep. all that stuff. So all of this comes together with Facebook announcing that AMD will do the chips for their new metaverse. So what does that do that since AMD stock skyrocketing? Mm-hmm. Now, we didn't know this. No way. You I know. Predict I know. You guys go back <laughs> to the episode. We're not doing this. Go back eight or 10 episodes. And I'm like, who are the two primary chip companies that service gamers. If you're a gamer, you know it's AMD. I have a Ryzen chip in my computer and NVIDIA. So now with the integration of the metaverse, like a lot of it is foreshadowing and we'll talk about Google going into healthcare later. But if you look at the chip, go ahead. What I was going to say is that Specifically, like for me, I'll speak for myself. Specifically, I didn't know that Facebook was going to do a deal with AMD. But the reason why I doubled down on my AMD position when it was down is because I knew that AMD is an extremely valuable company, undervalued, and it's it's only going to go up from all of the different factors that we said. So yeah. sometimes when you know, like you can know that LeBron James is going to average 20 points and 10 rebounds. That's a pretty safe bet, right? Mm -hmm. You might not know when he's going to score 45 points, but he's going to score 40 points in a season. Mm -hmm. So if you you put a bet that he's going to score 40 points in a season in 82 games, odds are he's going to hit it. He might hit it. He might hit it the first first game of the season. He might hit it the last game of the season, but it's it's pretty likely he's going to score 40 points. So that your odds increase drastically when you have an understanding of something. Yeah, and that's that's Shai's perspective. And from ours, my perspective, it was like, look, we saw AMD consolidating, <laughs> right? We saw the consolidation period. We were patient with it for eight months. Eight months. We said, all right, we're going to add more to the position. Uh-huh. And you have these types of announcements when you have the cloud space going crazy, right? When you're talking about making new chips. And what you didn't add was not only did they say they're going to use AMD chips for their metaverse, but so did this company called Microsoft. Mm-hmm. You got you got Meta, Meta platforms, formerly known as Facebook, and you got Microsoft saying that announcing last week that they're going into the metaverse. And now you have AMD becoming the chip supplier for both of them. But also they're announcing that they have a new chips as well. And they have some pretty hefty cloud clients. And so that, that's going to help as well, right? Because the metaverse is obviously in the cloud. So you got Microsoft, you got Amazon. And of course, we're with Microsoft Google. on an Azure. And you got Google. You got Microsoft, Amazon, and Google, and Facebook. Well, Meta. Like, where else do you go? <laughs> it's a game of probabilities. So for those of you who are like, hey, okay, great, you caught it. Will it still go up? Yes. When you go to amd.com right now and go look and see what they offer, and we'll talk about it a little bit later, but when I tell you guys things and leave everything else alone, the top companies are going to partner with those that are best at what they do 
to form conglomerates to corner a marketplace. So with all the NFT, crypto, everyone needs higher speed processors. Intel's not getting it done. So once AMD, and for those of you the game that has ever used the, the Ryzen chip, you know the power of it. You can only partner with the best if you're a top tier company because your board of directors will be upset if they were to partner with Intel and they don't have the capability to do so. Um, secondly, when you, when things are this low, and shout out to everybody in Red Panda who's been in AMD since 20 and 30 and been holding forever, right? When it's at that low for that five, six, seven month period, build a base. If you truly believe in a company and if it's top two in the space, your ultimate goal is to get to 10,000 shares. For those you with more money, you want to get to 100,000. But there's a certain safety net that they have now partnering with Microsoft and Meta that now you have two big enterprise clients that will fulfill their pipeline for four or five, six years. So my target for AMD is 316.23 in 18 months. Write that down. 316.23 is what it should go to. Hold. And if you look, in 2015, the low of that year was $1.61. Mm. So when people are telling you that you can't get high returns, if you were there at InvestFest, I proved that wasn't true. So is that 142.71 now? The low five years ago was 161. Please put in chat what that return is. Hold for the long term, please. Please. Can you do that? And shout out to all the earners out here with us. And, you know, the, the great thing about being amongst people who are, are becoming investors is that we get to talk to them because we've been in that position before, but we, we can speak about patience and, and talking about patience. We've been talking about AMD since 2020, right? Like early 2020, maybe like the first few episodes we were talking about it. Yep. And we got into some, I mean, I remember getting a, a 22 call for 70, a $75 22 call yeah. for January 22 and still have it. Right. And just like, I'm just going to be patient with it to the point where it's like, all right, well, these are the, the results of, of having that level of patience in a position. And so, yeah, it, it's consolidated, it's going up and it's going down and it's swayed a little bit, but we trust the information, we trust our research. So we have to trust our investments as well. Y'all, this is a valuable lesson. Today it, it's valuable. really hard to lose if you're investing in something that's the top in their space. Going back, I know we haven't done the ball analogies in a while, but like, man, if, if you're playing with certain people of LeBron is on your team, you're, you're have a certain amount of wins that you're going to have homework assignment for everyone. Please write this down. What is the average annual return for the top four companies in the processor space in the chip space? That is a homework assignment. I want you to do go look over the last 10 years. What is the average annual return? I know past performance doesn't guarantee things in the future, but there's a high probability if it's a top one or two company, what they're gonna do year over year. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>